I think my brother actually had. Um, and they had put it up on the refrigerator and we weren't allowed to get it. And so, you know, we'd been there for a week or two at this point. We needed just entertainment and uh, we snuck it and, and snuck into their bedroom and actually woke them up with a super soaker. <laughs> <laughs> The, the intended of target was Sweet Nana Car Car, but Papa was a bigger target, so it was easier to get him. Um, but of course, she woke up upset, and uh, but Papa smoothed it all over, you know. So he was the negotiator. Um, so yeah, when we think of him, when I think of him, and when my husband, you know, thinks of him, we think of a gentle, like my brother said, a gentle, gentle man. He was a big man, but. Um, you know, he, he really knew how to carry himself and to calm any situation. Um, and so that was a great example of something that I've kind of taken from him and I'm very thankful for. We love him greatly and uh, thank you for being here to help us honor him. Thank you. Yeah. Most of all, forgiving. Most of all, 
I'd like to share my husband found this, and I was wondering what I could say about Daddy, and it's called Stepping Stones. The Lord came to me like a dream one day and asked, Why do you sorrow? I answered, Lord, my soul is so full of pain. I cannot face one more tomorrow. The Lord sat down beside me and gently took my hand. He said, let me explain to you and then you'll understand. Each sorrow is a stepping stone you must surmount each day. And every stepping stone you climb is a sorrow that's passed away. The road of life is a mountainside with crevices in which to be caught. But as you struggle on your way, I, the rock, will lend support. Every stepping stone you climb makes your spirit and heart uh -oh. the makes your heart grow strong. Exercise in character and faith. This road seems painful and long. The way is paved with stepping stones to uplift your heart and soul. Though difficult, they aid your way to a city paved with gold. I know that you are tired, for I too have walked this way. My sorrows did, they multiplied, but I cleared many stones away. I left my rock to lift you up. I left behind my story to give you the strength to make your climb to that special place in glory. And never fear, the rock is here, and you'll never climb this mountain alone. Surmount so my sorrows, continue on, for they are but stepping stones. And I'd like to share Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not to your own understanding. In all ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. And we do appreciate y'all coming, and we'd like to end this little simple homely memorial to my dad, who was a very simple but very unique person. Uh, but if you would sing with us um, the song, thank you, uh, may the circle be unbroken. Oh, man. 
chance to sign, but the girls book. Okay, Eva, will you raise your hand? Eva's gonna let you sign it. We'll make sure that everybody in it, especially the staff. Um anything else you think needs to be said? Thank you for and there's pictures of Gaddy. He's so good looking. Y'all so look at these pictures of my mom and daddy. How good looking and pretty they are and were. Very handsome couple. Very handsome, Ron. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for honoring my dad. Thank you. I had just come back from Boston and had my left kidney removed for cancer. And I was just getting out, starting to rock pretty good. Right. Was Matt was out there cutting his grass. And at the time, he was 78, which I am right now. Right. Okay. He had bad knees on my side. Okay. Then I walked out and said to you, the doctor cut me and said, John, can I cut your grass for you? I said, okay. I'm back and I sure appreciate that. Uh, you know, I have somebody already cut it. Here's a man that was 17 years my senior. In the goodness of his heart. Yeah, it shows how fine. Yeah. And it's just been a... Uh, Two blessing in my life that I had something like that. Yeah. You know, I always do this. Yeah. It just shows that he's so selfless and how kind. He was a wonderful man, gentle, like this is, wonderful neighbor. And he loved him and Hayes would come down and they would pick figs from my trees. <laughs> and he was so funny, I said, you, you don't be going up too high on that tree. <laughs> The he's on the ladder climbing up, and, and he's. And then Miss Hazel would take and she'd make her fig jam and share it to everybody. Uh, Anytime he needed to smile, I was like, let's go on and see who's on that. That's right. <laughs> but they were wonderful people. We missed them. We really did miss them. But he was a good man. Good neighbor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Thank you guys for sharing those stories. Welcome.